Hello everybody, my name is Alfonso and today I decided to upload my first Joomla tutorial video because I was having a problem uh, trying to code an advanced form inside my Joomla site. Uh, first of all, before starting, I want to I want to recommend you this website www.screencastomatic.com, which is a great screen recorder to create videos like this. Okay, so uh, the problem I, I have had today is that I wanted to create a form which uses jQuery library to validate which has also some uh, database records and which has an intermediate um, article to um, to allow the user to just uh, check all the data he has inserted inside the form so uh, uh, till now I was using chronoforms which is a great component for um, managing forms in Joomla but since I upgraded to um, Joomla 1.7 uh, the new version of uh, Chronoform seems to be very tricky to me so I decided to, um, to just to code my own PHP code and, um, and uh, just code my JavaScript lines and I decided to do it from scratch um, what I did use is this um, plugin for Joomla which is called Sorcerer which is a great piece of software who allows you to place PHP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript or whatever inside your articles it is great when you are trying to put your own code and there is no module, no plugin, no component in Joomla that allows you to do it so uh, the installation is quite easy, you just have to download it from their website uh, I previously um, downloaded it and I have already installed it in my Joomla web website uh, just going to extensions, extensions manager uh, and select it, uh, in this case the sorcerer zip file um, after installing it you just go to the extensions plugin manager and you have to check that both Boton Sorcerer and System Sorcerer are both enabled. Uh, for this example, I'm just using a Joomla blank site. I install it on my local test server, and it's going to be enough for this example. So, what I'm going to do today is to create a very simple form that I have already created with uh, Dreamweaver, uh, just uh, to input text fields, name and age, and a submit button uh, this form is going to be inside an, uh, uh, an article and there is another article which is going to show me the results a sentence like my name is blah 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 and I am x years old so for doing this what we're going to do the, 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 um, the workflow is going to be we have to create a menu item that will show right here which is called test form who is going to link to an article which is containing the form I previously created after this I'm going to create uh, an article in, in which I will place my PHP code using Sorcerer plugin and uh, the form we will connect with the results article using a hidden menu article this is a tricky part but it, it really does the job so we're going to start first of all as I told you we're going to content article manager and we're going to create our um, test form we're going to call test form article and we just click, uh, I just install Joomla, so this is uh, the default uh, content editor, you can use whatever you want because uh, all of them allows you to edit the HTML source so what we're going to do, go to Dreamweaver I'm just going to copy the whole uh, form uh, including the form tag, okay? so I'm just going here 
I just paste my form and if I go to Joomla I will see that it has pasted my form inside the Joomla article um, I just save it uh, well, I, I was doing previous tests so I'm going to create I'm going to call this form test okay save and close form test okay here we go right now what we're going to do is to place uh, some PHP code to um, show the both name and age uh, into a Joomla article using PHP so we're going to create um, a form results article okay again we click here we're going to call these form results and to launch source alert we're going to click on the insert code button and this is source alert it's just very simple as you can see you 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 have place to put your html or your css right here you can place your your own javascript um, programs and you can place your PHP code. In our case we're going to type a very simple PHP sentence which is my name is name and I am author post years old okay so the, the piece of code is quite simple it's going to print both the post uh, the, both the name and the age variable in into the screen to the article so when, when you are done you just click insert and you will notice here that there is um, your code is here between this source Joomla tags so we just uh, save and close and one important option that you have to keep in mind when you are uh, working with code is uh, to um, set up Joomla content editor to overwrite all, 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 the, all the tools that it, that it includes to tidy the, the code we don't need to tidy the code here because we are hard coding inside our articles this is done here in the options inside articles manager we click in options and just check here in text filters uh, tab with super user who is the the, the, uh, the administrator in this case to select no filtering this way you can put all your codes in, inside your articles and it's not going to be overwrite so we just say save and close and uh, what we're going to do now is to create first of all a menu item for the form test okay, article okay so we just go so we just go to menu menu manager and we add a new item we're going to select uh, our single article which is from test and we're going to call form um, just to make it clear I just going to show the title but the, 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 the rest of the options I'm going to hide them because it will um, it will really put a lot of text inside my article and I, I don't really want that so we just save and close and right now if we came here and if we um, preview the website uh, we'll see here form and if we click we will see our form here okay so what we're going to do right now is to when we click on submit we want to go to a menu item but we don't want to show the menu item in any part of our of our um, website so what we're going to do 
is to create a new menu and we're going to call it uh, results and uh, we're going to type hidden menu we save and close and inside the here we're going to create um, a new menu item called we're going to call results action we're going to select our single article here which is form results again in article options we're just going to show the title and just hide uh, every, uh, everything else just to make it more clear okay instead of going to save and close we're going to go to save and after clicking on save here we've got the alias this is going to be the action for the form we have already created so we just copy the alias and we can close here go to content article manager and we're going to go to our form again here it is we're going to open up our HTML code and here in the action we're going to paste the name of our uh, menu item and this is only valid if you have enabled the search engine friendly URL URL um, this is uh, by default enabled in Joomla 1.7 um, but it's not in Joomla 1.5 so this is only going to work if you have this option enabled so right now if we just reload our form here we just type our name for example my name is Alfonso and my name is 30 and we click on submit it will show my name is Alfonso and I am 30 years all and that's it I know this is a very simple piece of code uh, but I'm pretty sure that many of you who has uh, encountered many problems trying to put your own code inside your articles and also working with advanced forms are going to find it very useful um, thank you very much for watching my first tutorial and I hope to see you again in the next one bye bye